In this video, I connect with conscious business coach and money mentor and quite the mystic, the modern mystic, Natalia Benson. So stay tuned for this clip and I hope you enjoy it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Charmed Life YouTube channel. I am your host here. My name is Trisha Carr, and I have the best time connecting with Natalia Benson. She has a great presence on Instagram, so check that out. She has a lot of offerings. Check all of those out in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, then do please subscribe, like, share, and click the little bell so that you can get the notifications for when I publish more of these. Enjoy this clip, this amazing high vibe connection conversation that I had with Natalia Benson, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna shift gears to astrology a little bit, but it sounds like some of your shifting and awakening and healing happened post or around the Saturn return as well, right? <laughs> Such oh, yeah, a... that was... Like I, I, I swear my, my Saturn return is the same for you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's like cause Saturn yeah. is the maturing aspect, right? So what I found so, so powerful, um, when I look back on like those couple of years of my life, it was like this line in the sand. It was like, mm -hmm. who are you going to be? Who are you choosing? Yes. Like, are you going to take these old behaviors with you or, and for me, it really didn't end until I was like 31, like 31 oh, yeah. was like, I know. you know what I mean? It's like, that was Absolutely. really a huge shift for me. And, um, I feel like my life began then, honestly, because I actually did an EFT tapping session, um, with a really powerful woman named Gala Darling. And she just in that single session, like I just let go of this like emotional um wounding that i didn't realize i'd been carrying like my entire life mm -hmm. and then i just felt like oh my god i'm here and like my financial like i'd already been doing some great work in my 31st year but it's like i just feel like letting go of that emotional thing that i've been holding on like i love eft tapping it's like i just yeah. did some this morning but it's just like from that, what was so magnificent is it was like, again, my authentic identity could come through, like who I was truly meant to be and seeking to create myself to be could actually come forward. And it was all aligned around the Saturn return. And mm -hmm. so that's what I always tell people to who are either coming up to their Saturn return or going through their Saturn return. Like it is so profound. Um, that little stretch of years because yes you will be challenged but at the same time it's just like that is where you literally have it's almost like a pressure cooker and through that pressure it's like you can really turn into the diamond that you're meant to be and mm. pretty amazing so that was definitely a big experience for yeah. me was the Saturn return I have a friend who um I have a friend, one friend met another friend and they're both, you know, they're all spiritual. And this, the second friend asked what her, this other friend's sign was and she wasn't there. And I was like, she's Aries. And she's like, no, I think you're wrong. I don't think she's an Aries. I'm like, no, her birth. I know her birthday is, you know, March 23rd or something like that. And she's like, and I said, oh, she's 29. And she goes, ah, okay, I'll come back next year and I'll really meet her. <laughs> I love it. And she did, but we were talking about it, this friend of the young friend of mine. And um, she did. As soon as she kind of started to really get past that return, her business, you know, she had been hiding and everything, but yeah, her fire came out and it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, if you're listening, Olivia, I, that's you and you know it. <laughs> I love it's that really amazing. so much. Love my Aries. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And it's I feel like what is so beautiful too as we move through the Saturn return. I always like to say it's like a sift, like a, I like to call it like a cosmic sifter. So it's yeah. literally just like anything, whether it's inside of you, a relationship, um, a habit, it's like, literally, it's like this sifter and the things that cannot come with you into your greatest expression or your most powerful expression of self, like it will get like kind of sifted off and it's not always easy. You no, know, yeah. Yeah. It was a lot Mine of too. I had to break. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. It was like definitely not a walk in the park, but like, again, like those challenges, those were defining moments for me. 
really yeah. helped me become me. Just, just imagine how the next one's going to be. We're going to be all crone wise and everything. Oh <laughs> I my look forward God. to it. And, he, and you know what? I think they say too that your second Saturn return is actually easier because you, I don't want to say easier, but yeah, yeah, because you're mature. Well, like your, the second heartbreak is easier in a sense. You know you're going to survive it and you have some exactly. wisdom to draw from for your healing, but it hurts yeah. still or, you know, it's yeah. still like powerful and still transcendent and yeah. so far as the Saturn return is concerned. But you have an, you have skills, you have transcendent skills, hopefully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting too, because this year I've had a lot of Chiron activity. I have like Chiron in Aries and it's right now. Me too. Like, really? Yeah, you know, uh, almost oh, everyone wait, I know you has have Chiron, Chiron Yeah, the uh -huh. years. So I oh. have transit Chiron in oh, Aries right now. So you actually might be having a Chiron return. About this, t really? Wait, I, when? Oh, I can look again on my phone. Do you know the degree? <laughs> yeah, tell me the degree of your Chiron. Because oh, gosh, that I don't know, but. Yeah, you're I like, can... Natalia, you're like, you can send it to me later. <laughs> you're wait no yeah well my okay let's see my chiron return is june 4th 2023 so we're pretty close interesting okay yeah so what okay so you must have like later degree chiron maybe yeah so. yes because yeah. chiron moves pretty slowly has an erratic mm -hmm. orbit and it is in the early degrees probably about the only reason i know the degree right now is because i keep looking and it's on my it's on my jupiter and my north node right now so yeah, it's been intense. And during the eclipses, all those eclipses were touching my Chiron this year. Mm. And here's the thing, although like I make lots of astrology references, I still live my life. Yes. I think it's always good to to speak to because like oh, yeah. I like to live through my life and then see where the astrology mm -hmm. um resonates and makes sense. I think sometimes like just because I've been into it. Like I remember one of my most hilarious astrology stories is I, I think I was like 24 years old. I was living in Los Angeles and everyone was talking about this crazy lunar eclipse in like the spiritual world. So I was like, oh my God, I'm going to just go to Sadna and then lay in my bed for the whole day because then nothing can happen. And that's literally what I did that day. And I was like, okay, not a healthy way to relate to the astrology, but like I get what you're going for. But it's just like, it's kind of funny because like, that's actually been a very important point for me throughout my relationship to the mystical will say is that I live my life and I live my life in like a, as present as I can be and I do the best that I can. And then I look for the context that astrology offers. Because if yes. I'm looking ahead seeing like, oh, what does this mean? Or what is this going to mean? then it's just our reticular activating system gets activated. We're going to look for that. So mm -hmm. I, I like to look back, but also see where I can empower myself with the information, mostly just to not be hard on myself that I'm feeling, yeah. you know, crappy or like something feels <laughs> amiss. But those eclipses this year, I was like, I was just getting freaking spin cycled. And I was like, yeah. what is going on? And then I saw all of them are on my Chiron and and Chiron is, you know, the wounded healer. It's that that mm -hmm. deep, like really getting into the deep emotion of like, you know, what are we doing and how is it impacting our life? And how can we, you know, essentially tap into our own deep healing mm -hmm. and for the sake of forward movement? Um, that's the way I see it as an Aries though. Yeah. So everything for me is about forward movement. <laughs> Yeah. You're a lightning bolt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love how Natalia makes a great use of all of these mystical, artistic, and feeling sensory-based, and love and heart-based modalities with practical and tactical execution in this life. I love how grounded she is while ascended at the same time. And we didn't mention, but she has a book. She's an author as well, a book called Mystical AF, which I think is really cool because you may or may not know, I have another podcast called Enlightened AF. So many things there. So everyone, I want to invite you again to like, subscribe, share, comment, and click the little bell so that you can get notifications about more of these episodes. And also that there is a full length, whole hour conversation with Natalia. Natalia on the podcast. So all of those links are in the description. And thanks for tuning in. I love you.
whoever you are. Thank you.